Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. Yes, I'm, I must stop saying that. Well, hello. If you can hear some buzzing going on, by the way, shall I stay silent for a bit? Did you hear that? You hear that buzzing? There's a fly. There's a fly in my garage, bastard. Uh, and I've shut the door so it can't get out. Well, first thing I'd like to say is uh, I did a video about a week or so ago called uh, Seven Reasons Why You Don't Need to Buy a Gravel Bike. And if you want to see a link to it, it's up there somewhere. And uh, a number of people, quite a lot of people actually, have watched that video and quite a number of people have made a number of comments, very nice comments actually, saying they were quite amused by the uh, video and they quite enjoyed it. So to all those people who've seen the video and have said, made nice comments and have subscribed on the back of it, I say thank you very much. And if you're interested in looking at a video about why you don't need to buy the next or the current big thing, which is a gravel bike, then please do watch it and I I hope you enjoy it too. So what are we doing today on this very hot day? Well we're doing an unboxing, yes, an unpackaging what is in Julian's package today. Now it has been opened because I wasn't sure what it was. I had a pretty good idea of what it was. Anyway, let's take out the packaging and single-use plastic I suspect there's a single-use piece of paper there, I suspect. Here is a single-use bag. This bag is not a toy, it says. Warning to avoid danger of suffocation, keep this bag away from babies and children. And I would suggest adults as well, because the danger of suffocation for adults if they are silly enough or dumb enough to put it over their head. And can you see that? It says Rafa. Uh, Rafa Performance Roadwear. Now, we need to talk about Rafa. Now, lots of people have a habit of describing those cyclists who wear Rafa as Rafa wankers. And I have myself been guilty of this particular offence. But I should say, in my defence, a bit like a fat person saying it's okay to call people fat because I'm fat myself, is I can call people Rafa wankers because I am myself. Yes, boys and girls, a Rafa wanker. I've been buying Rafa for quite a number of years. Now, I will say that quite a lot of the Rafa stuff I've bought, I have since sold for various reasons. Sometimes it's not turned out to be quite as good as it, I thought it was at the beginning. Sometimes it was just not mm, quite right. I remember buying a wind jacket, which was described as a packable wind jacket. Now, this is before the current uh, super packable flyweight wind jacket, or whatever it is they call it. Anyway, it was a packable wing, uh, jacket. And yes, you could pack it, package, you could packable it, but the package was about the size of a camp bed. It was enormous. They said you could fit it in your back pockets. It didn't fit in my back pockets. Even if I'd torn each of the connecting stitches between the three back pockets of my cycling jersey, it wouldn't have fit in the back pocket. So anyway, I got rid of that. I have actually since bought a truly packable Rafa wind jacket and it does fit in the back pocket. Now this well, actually, no, I'm going to just carry on on the, on the Raffle Wanker bit. It's a little bit unfair. I suppose one of the things that people hate about Raffa, it's it's sort of all the gear and no idea. In other words, there's a lot of, not so much new cyclists, because Raffa's been around for a while now, um, but a lot of cyclists with more money, perhaps, than sense, who wanted to wear full Raffle. And word of advice, guys, if you do buy Raffa, and Raffa make a lot of nice stuff, let me get that out there, don't, 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 please, whatever you do, wear a Raffa jersey, a Raffa base layer, Raffa shorts, Raffa socks, Raffa shoes, and a Raffa helmet, because then you really will look like a Raffa wink. But Rafa makes some nice stuff, 
and let's face it it's it's some of it's very well made it's nicely designed they have interesting colors they started doing a lot of the stuff in cycling gear that has since been taken up by others and in some respects has been taken up uh, uh, better i think some of the stuff by cafe du cycliste is very good i think some of the stuff by la Pachoni is beautiful really beautiful kit um, some of the stuff by Rafa is still very good and maybe this will prove to be one of them it is a and this, guys, right, you may say, right, this colour, oh, it's quite a nice colour, isn't it? Look at that colour. I would call that, well, I'd call it purple, I don't know what you'd call it. Um, but does it go, does it go with my hair? There is, a, there is a bit of red in my hair. Perhaps if I do it like that, I don't think you can still hear me. Um, you'll see the red above the purple. Does that look a bit weird or does it look like something rather nice? So there's a Rafa label here and the Rafa label says Brevet Lightweight Jersey. So it's a Brevet, which is their kind of long distance Ordax, maybe gravel, maybe not gravel. I'm not into gravel riding as you will know um, since my unfortunate day bath. Oh, I'm just unfolding this here while you can't see a little bit of uh, single use tissue paper there. I'm going to hold it up and it's it's rather nice isn't it? You've got to say um, this is the lighter of the, um, the, the the Brevet jerseys. There's a kind of wind block version and I'm hoping well I'm not going to say too much but I'm thinking of doing a ride let's just call it that for which this jersey might might be ideally suited. Now it's got I'm going to hold this up in a minute so you can see. It's got three pockets there at the back. It says Rafa there. So anyone who's behind you, and occasionally if you're wearing Rafa kit, cyclists will be behind you. Although if you're wearing Rafa kit, quite often they want to try and get in front of you. So it says Rafa there, so that they know. And here is a rather wide zipped pocket. And the idea behind that zip pocket, I think, is so that you can put a rain jacket or a gilet in it, or something that doesn't fit in these other pockets. So, it's a rather nice colour. It's got this uh, grey stripes on the front there, which I think are probably reflective. It's got a grey stripe there on the sleeve, which I suspect is also reflective. It's got a full-length zip which I think you can see like that and it's it's fairly thin it's kind of mesh on the back I don't know if you can see that I can vaguely see my camera through this so I don't know if you can see my head through this it's kind of meshy meshy does that make sense it's meshy and there's a there's a, a label and is that an inside pocket Sort of like an inside pocket. And there is, I believe, a pocket. Yes, look, can you see that? Right? There's a pocket there on the top of that reflective strip. A little pocket, but probably just big enough for your American Express card. Now you're gonna say, well, Julian, we don't we don't just want to see jerseys. Somebody with a body like yours. A 64 year old body like yours we want to see it in the jersey so don't go away guys and gals and you can see me try this on well there it is what do you think i i think that's rather nice this is an extra extra large um i actually don't laugh i've been on a bit of a journey yes a bit of a journey but on a bit of a bit of a dietary journey lately and I've lost a little weight so this is a uh, perhaps a little bit loose but I I probably prefer it if I'm honest I, d I don't like anything that's sort of too constricting I do strunk sometimes struggle with the sizing for garments in Castelli I'm an extra 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 large in other garments I tend to be an extra large sometimes I'm an extra extra large uh, this is an extra extra large which is probably slightly too big but I think the extra large will probably be either slightly too small or possibly the right fit but I'm going to stick with this I'm going to stick with the extra extra large I do think that that pink raffa 
stitching is rather fetching and I do think this is a very nice jersey. Now I'm wearing a a base layer. This is actually this is actually a very thin uh, Rohan t-shirt which I tend to use as a base layer because I like the I like the feel of it and I like the cut of it and I, and I think it's a it's a nice garment but it's not technically a base layer. So I'm messing about with the label here and I don't want to sort of immediately cut it off in case I do decide to change my mind and send this back but I don't think I will because I think it's rather nice. So there is a top pocket there with a zip which is perhaps just hidden. The pockets at the back, three pockets there, one of which has got a zip, big pocket, I think I mentioned that. Uh, nice collar, nice jersey, nice typical Rafa quality. Not cheap but then Rafa are not by any means the most expensive anymore. I think for a while they were but I've seen a number of jerseys that cost quite a lot more than this one from uh, uh, other companies and in fact Rafa themselves do jerseys which are more expensive than this. So that gives you sorry I was putting my hands across it which you probably don't want to see. You want to see how it how it looks, how it fits and how it feels. It's a nice jersey and uh, yeah I think the colour is fabulous. I think it suits me. Now I'll just put my head down so you can see the red hair. Slightly red, slightly white but hair anyway. And um, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing, unpackaging of a Rafa Brevet uh, jersey in purple. And thanks for watching and see you next time.